how to use gratitude to get what you want in life, business and money. Here's exactly how to use gratitude to get what you want in life. For a long time, I struggled with gratitude, but when I did start to feel gratitude, my whole life changed. Right back at step one in the manifestation process, we focused on getting into a peaceful place and focusing on bringing one thing that you loved into your life so that you could bring more high vibrations into your life. And today we are going to build on that sense of peace by making the feeling of gratitude much more present in our lives. When people say that you need to vibrate at the right frequency to manifest your desires, this is what they mean. You are trying to manifest something right now. The reason you want to manifest that particular thing to you is really so that you can feel positive emotions. No doubt if your manifestation were to come true, you'd feel a massive amount of gratitude. Gratitude is one of the highest frequency emotions that you can feel. So in order to attract things into our lives to be grateful for, we need to experience more of the emotion of gratitude in our lives right now. I actually found it hard to feel gratitude when I didn't have the life that I wanted and I managed to find some really great ways to turn this around. So today I'm going to share 11 unique ways that you can bring more feelings of gratitude into your daily life so that you can manifest more things to be grateful for. Today you will understand how being grateful helps you attract more things to be grateful for. You will discover a gratitude practice that will really work for you from whatever state of mind you're currently at. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. Are you struggling to find things to be grateful for in your life? Are you wondering why your manifestations are not working as well as you want? Let me know what you're struggling with by leaving me a comment on my blog, YouTube channel or sending me a DM on Instagram. So let's change your struggles into solutions right now. Do you want to feel a sense of gratitude almost all of the way through every day? Do you want to wake up wondering how your life got to be so good? So here are 11 ways to use gratitude to get what you want in life, money and business. And there are so many different ways to start feeling true gratitude in your life, but not all methods work for everyone. So it's worth experimenting with a variety of different methods until you find something that works for you. And once you find something that works to help you feel true feelings of gratitude every day, keep going with it as this is the key to unlocking the life of your dreams. So here are 11 different ways to use gratitude to get everything that you want in life so you can choose what resonates with you the most. Number one, write a gratitude journal. Writing a gratitude journal involves writing a list of around three things every day that you are grateful for. It can be more if you want, but if you choose three things, then you're more likely to stick to it. It's good to use a specific journal for this so that you get into the habit of doing it every day. And although this didn't initially work for me when I was feeling very low, I do write a gratitude journal every day now and I really do feel a sense of true gratitude now that I'm vibrating at a higher frequency. And there are so many different gratitude journals that can help you. So just choose one that you like. You can also just use a regular journal. The choice is yours. You can use other types of journals and I have a section for gratitude within them, like in my stamp planner. And I give away my stamp planner free to customers who buy my book, Stamp Goals. Number two, you can focus on appreciating something that you really love about your life. If you are struggling to find much that you appreciate about your life, try and just zone in on one thing that you really love about your life. Do you have a hobby, a family that you love, a job that you love, a TV show that you love, some music that you love, a nice walk that you take every day? Whatever it is, no matter how small, really focus on that one thing and feel an immense sense of gratitude for that one thing. 
that's what I did when I started to wake up early just to read my books that I loved to do. I felt so grateful that I could start off the day by doing something that was just for me, something that felt so indulgent instead of always rushing around getting the kids ready first thing in the morning. Number three, imagine your life without everything that you currently have. This is a little bit of a negative way to get into a state of gratitude, but it can work well if you're currently feeling generally low and struggling to feel gratitude. If you are struggling to find anything to be grateful for because you wish that everything in your life was different, try imagining that everything in your life had been taken away from you and then imagine how you would feel. Imagine that instead of having a car that you hate, you have no car at all. Imagine that you were alone instead of being with your family who might be stressing you out right now. Imagine that instead of having to do the dishes every night, you had no running water to be able to do the dishes. Imagine that instead of living in your home that you can't stand, you were homeless on the streets. And this is not a practice that I would recommend doing on a regular basis, but it can give you a good wake up call to help you appreciate the things that you have and motivate you to take action to turn your mindset around. Number four, appreciate the things that you don't love about your life. So if your life doesn't look the way you want it to, believe it or not, you can feel grateful for these things. You can feel grateful for the things that you don't want in your life. So why on earth would you do this? Because if you can notice the things that you don't like, you can feel grateful for your new awareness of what you actually do want in your life. So for me, all I thought about was a warm climate, but it was not actually the truth. Yes, I wanted a warm climate, but I also wanted other things that I wouldn't allow myself to admit. I needed to focus on everything else that I wanted. I also wanted to have fun with my family. I also wanted to relax and enjoy myself. And I didn't think that I could get any of these things without first moving to a warm climate so I could have fun in the sunshine. I thought I could only have fun with my family in the sunshine. I thought I could only have fun reading my book while lounging in a sun lounger in the sunshine by the beach. But when I really took a look at a lot of the items on my wants list, I realized that I could have almost all of them right now. I wasn't having fun with my family, but I could do something about that right now by arranging fun trips for us. And I wasn't currently doing anything just for me that I enjoyed. And even though I couldn't enjoy my walks that I loved, I still loved reading so I could do more of that. And focusing on all the things that I didn't have and not just one of the things that I didn't have really helped me to notice where I had the ability to improve things right now. Number five, use brain stamps that help you to feel grateful. Sometimes when you're feeling really low, it's really hard to change your own mindset to become more positive. And this is when you might need some external help. So listening to guided meditations or brain stamps, which are I am affirmations that have been recorded by other people can really help to reprogram your subconscious mind in a much more positive way. During this time, I was also listening to a lot of sleep hypnosis that were stamping my brain with positivity. I was far too low to write any of my own affirmations as my brain just wasn't in a positive space at all. And I, but I did find it really helped to listen to other people's recording. And now that I'm in a very positive place, I've been able to record some very high frequency brain stamps and if you'd like to get access to these, you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash brain stamps, or you can go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com and then click on products, and then you'll be able to find my brain stamps that way. Or you can click the link around this content. Number six, think of something that you have felt grateful for in the past. If you have been really struggling to feel grateful for your life right now, it can really help you to feel grateful for something that you've enjoyed in the past. So bring up a past memory that fills you with joy. This can really help you to feel gratitude right here, right now. Number seven, remember how far you've come. 
Even though you may not be exactly where you desire right now, remember how far you've come. Bring to mind some of the challenges that you've been through in your life. What things have you overcome in your life? What successes have you had? What transformations have you had in your life? How bad did things used to be? How much better are they now? This can really help put things in perspective for you. Imagine you were talking to a friend. So how would you reassure them that things were better right now? Are you stronger than you used to be? Are you less willing to settle for things that you don't like right now? Number eight, start smiling for no reason. So this might sound a bit cheesy, but setting a timer for one minute and just smiling for one minute straight can put you in a much more positive mood. So when you physically shift your body and force it to display more positive emotions, your mind often follows the same course and feels happy too. Number nine, give thanks for nothing and everything. What does this mean? So this is a powerful technique that I learned when I was at a fruit festival. We were asked to sit down and close our eyes and say thank you, thank you, thank you over and over again out loud for two minutes straight. And I felt a bit silly at first, but I kept doing it and something really weird happened to me. I started feeling myself welling up with an intense feeling of gratitude. By the end of the chant, I was literally crying tears of gratitude and I couldn't even pinpoint exactly what I was grateful for. It was just for everything. So when you are alone and you say thank you and you don't attach something to the end of the sentence, you end up having a very powerful connection to God and you are literally being thankful for your entire human experience. So there's no more powerful experience than this one. So I urge you to give this a try. It's just two minutes. Let me know what you think and if it had the same effect on you. Number 10, say thanks to others. This is a another technique that I've heard people recommend to say thank you to other people, to go out of your way to write thank you messages or letters to say thank you to other people. And I did struggle to do this very often, but I found another way to apply the same principle that felt very easy to me. I decided that I was going to go through my previous Amazon orders and write reviews for products that I truly loved. I did a really great job of writing a review that I knew would bring in way more sales for that business. And then I started doing this with other products and services that I had bought and really loved. And something amazing happened after I started doing this. Testimonials for my own products started pouring in. And this is what happens when you remember something that you are grateful for and express your appreciation. People then start to appreciate you a lot more. Number 11 treat yourself. Do something you are going to feel grateful for. When you start to treat yourself, you have more things in your life to be grateful for, so you will naturally experience more gratitude in your life. For me personally, I'm not a big buyer of things. I'm not obsessed with clothes, bags, shoes, jewellery or anything of a physical nature. What I love most is mindset shifts and experiences in my life. So naturally, I started to treat myself in the form of giving myself more me time by reading every day, by taking a sauna and a candlelit bath every day and planning some fun things to do every weekend with my family. And I was so grateful for these new experiences with my family every weekend that I then went on to manifest moving closer to a lot more of my extended family. So now a much bigger group of my family go out every weekend and have more fun together. Being grateful for the family that I did have attracted even more experiences with more family members to be grateful for in the future. So what experiences do you love to have? How do you best love to treat yourself? Try and do something daily and also weekly to treat yourself so that you always have something to look forward to and be grateful for. How to boost your business by using gratitude. When you experience more gratitude in your everyday life, it will naturally translate into your business too. 
you can use the same gratitude practices that I have shared here to boost your business. Whatever you feel about your life in general should increase all aspects of your life. But I do understand that sometimes we are able to experience gratitude for one particular area of our lives and not apply that to another area. When I was feeling really low, I also felt really negative about my business and I lost my passion for it completely. And when I started to experience gratitude in my life, I was then truly motivated to start a new business. This Kath Kyle brand, Helping Entrepreneurs, it was something that I had always wanted to do. And when I started to feel more joy in my life, I knew that I was ready to bring that energy into my new business to help other people in the same way. However, I did still keep some negative thought patterns about my previous business without even realizing it. I was in a bad habit of dreading the first of the month, which is the day where I total up all my revenue from the previous month. And as my revenue had been declining for a long time, this day had become something that I started to dread. I continued dreading it for many months until I suddenly realized that I needed to be applying gratitude towards my own business. So here's what I did to bring gratitude into my business that I'd lost my passion for. Number one, I started being grateful for all of my business expenses and the service that had been provided for me. Number two, I developed a practice of thinking thoughts of gratitude and saying a prayer for success for each new customer that came in. Number three, I wrote a big long list of everything that I was grateful for about my business. Number four, I wrote a list of everything that I'd been able to do with my business revenue and how much it had changed our lives. Number five, I remembered how far I'd come in my business even though my revenue had dropped and it was still better than making nothing, which is what I had before I started my business. Number six, I made a list of all of my business successes and the skills that I had learned, and I felt grateful for those. Number seven, I thought about an alternative to my business, which, which was to get a job, which I didn't really want to do, and that helped me feel a lot more grateful for my business. Number eight, I went through my payment system and I got a total number of how many customers I had ever had in my business. That number was over 8,000 and I felt so grateful for all of those people I had ever helped. And in fact, it only let me go back a few years, so that's not the total amount, but still I was blown away when I saw that amount of people that I'd helped. Number nine. I also got a total number of page views for my website and that number was over 30 million. I had no idea it was so big and I felt grateful for all of the people that I had reached and helped with my free content. And once I'd done all of this, I felt so much more grateful for my business and the very next month, my passive business that had been stuck at a particular revenue for a very long time doubled in revenue. Now that you have learned how to use gratitude to get what you want, you might be wondering how to be the type of person who manifests whatever they desire. And this is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. And while you're waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. Watch my free workshop where I walk you through my complete process of planning the business of your dreams in just 30 days. This is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint, and I'm only making this workshop free for a limited time, so go and grab that while it's still available. Go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get my free workshop, How to Plan Your Dream Six-Figure Business in 30 Days. Until then, go and put your stamp on the world.